We are recording. Hello, everyone. I'm Paul Winook from Recording Magazine, and today we're taking a look at the new EXTC stereo from Radial Engineering. Radial Engineering have a long and respected history building robust and quiet direct boxes and reamping interfaces for both the studio and stage. They're also well known for building those gizmos and devices that you didn't know you needed until you need them. That's certainly the case with this device right here, which we also review in the June 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. The EXTC Stereo is a stereo stomp box reamper that follows the 500 series EXTC 500, reviewed in October 2011, and the standalone direct box style EXTC SA. All three models allow you to effectively insert instrument level stomp box pedals into a line level signal path for use as audio effects in your mixes right alongside your favorite rack mount processors and plugins. Why is a device like the EXTC important? Because making sure that your stomp boxes receive the proper type of input signal is crucial if you want them to sound great in your mix. Let's talk about reamping. Reamping is a process where you take any pre-recorded signal, usually bone dry bass or electric guitar, and you send it back out into an amplifier. The sound from that amplifier is then re-recorded with microphones, and that's reamping. This allows you to track the bass player direct, dry, and bleed free, and then add back in the sound of their amplifier later, or for a guitarist, you can experiment with different amplifiers and effects combinations long after they've nailed their perfect take. The concept is similar when you're adding effects pedals into a mix, but before we dig into why you should use a specific reamping device for this task rather than just going directly in and out of your pedal, let's meet the EXTC Stereo. The EXTC Stereo is a direct box style device made of 14 gauge steel finished in a gloss baked enamel finish. It features a bookend style overhang above and below the controls for protection, and then on the bottom it's got a non-slip rubberized pad. Connections include balanced XLR I.O. along with balanced quarter-inch outputs on the back, which connect to and from your audio interface, preamp, or mixer. On the front are quarter-inch unbalanced stereo ins and outs to connect to and from your effects pedals. An LED-equipped push button takes the pedal in and out of the signal chain. Also note that the send is transformer isolated to avoid ground loops and hum. The EXTC Stereo is an active device powered by an included 15-volt external power supply. Now, I don't typically obsess about external power supplies, but rather than the bulbous wallwort style ones that usually eat up two outlets on most power strips, this one nicely only takes up one. All in all, the EXTC Stereo is of the same design and build quality as most other radial devices, including the single-channel EXTC SA. Both devices can be rack-mounted alone or together with an optional rack-mounting kit from Radial. Once your connections are made, a pair of send and receive controls allow you to fine tune the levels going to and coming from your stomp boxes. There's a phase switch here as well because not all guitar pedals are wired in phase. The final control on the EXTC stereo is a wet dry blend knob. For comparison, the single channel EXTC SA functions exactly the same as its stereo partner. However, it adds a second effects loop allowing two pedal chains to be selected individually or in series. The setup and use of the EXTC stereo is relatively straightforward. Just designate two outputs from your audio interface as the sends from your DAW, connect those to the EXTC, and then you take the outs from the EXTC, and those will go back into your audio interface, and those will be the returns in your DAW. Then you just connect your favorite stomp box, dial into taste, and you should be good to go. The great thing is, is the EXTC Stereo will work with mono pedals, 
It will work with stereo pedals, and it'll also work with pedals that have a mono input and a stereo output. Note that it will also work with two mono pedals at the same time. However, you will not be able to have individual level or blending control over each. In our July 2018 issue, I wrote an article with a corresponding video also on Recording's YouTube page titled Pedals in the Mix. I detailed my personal setup of pull-out pedal shelves, patch bays, reamping devices, and stomp boxes, and how I use those as the secret sauce in my mixes. One thing I really appreciate about the Radial EXTC line is rather than needing multiple devices for reamping and then going back into my system, everything is all contained in one convenient, simple device. The first time I encountered this pedal reamping procedure was at the studio of our copy editor, Mike Scheibinger, over a decade ago, who was using a first edition Radial XAMP to reamp vocals through an MXR carbon copy analog delay pedal. Okay, so perhaps you're wondering, like I was at the time, why you need a dedicated reamping device to use a stomp box as an external effect in your mix. Well, basically the pedal, just like a guitar amp, needs to be fed with the proper impedance load going in, and then you need to take that output and reconvert it back to a line level signal. In other words, get the impedance right and the rest will follow. Without proper reamping, the line level signal coming from your DAW and interface and going into the pedal is most likely going to be too strong, and it's going to overdrive the input of the pedal, which is going to give you a sound that's buzzy and mushy and, and clipped, distorted, and not in a cool way. And then the signal that's coming out of your pedal is probably going to be too low going back into your DAW. Now, you can boost that with a, a mic pre or in post, but you're also running the risk of raising the noise floor. So... Let's check out some audio examples so you can hear exactly what the EXTC stereo can do for your pedals in the mix. All right, so here's our drum example, and this is a groove played by one of our reviewers, David Blasco, and we're going to be running through a Strymon Big Sky Stereo Reverb. All right, bring in the reverb. Now that actually sounded pretty good, and that's because Strymon is one of the few pedal manufacturers that make stomp boxes that can handle line level inputs and outputs. So let's listen to that one more time, and I'm going to boost the recorded signal 13 dB so you can really hear what the reverb's doing. Here's just the reverb by itself. Now, if you're thinking that sounded pretty good, you're correct. And so now you're going, yay, I don't need one of these fancy reamping gizmos. While that's technically correct, you'll notice that I still had to boost the recorded signal of the reverb 13 dB to make it competitive in the mix. In addition to making sure that you're getting the proper level back into your DAW, the radial EXTC stereo also gives you very precise control over how much signal you send into the pedal. Here are three examples of the drums going into the Strymon Big Sky Reverb with the aid of the Radial EXTC Stereo. This is 40%. Just the effect. Here is 50%. Just reverb. Here comes 100%. All right, so this is a Rhodes 73, an actual mechanical real Rhodes piano, and we're going into the preamp section of an Echo Fix EFX2 tape echo with a little bit of tape echo added. And then the output of that is going into a Chandler Red microphone preamp on the line input section. I'm 
I'm going to add in the Boss Wazacraft CE2 pedal. And this is just direct out of the Apollo on a mono send with the stereo return. I realized that was pretty quiet and hard to hear. So let's listen to that one more time. And I'm going to boost up the recorded signal of the Waza pedal 13 dB. Okay, I know you're thinking, hmm, that does sound kind of cool. And if you're after an industrial effect, this is certainly one way to go. But let's hear what the Rhodes sounds like going through the Wazacraft pedal with the aid of the radial EXTC stereo with a mono send and a stereo return. All right, now let's cut out the dry and this is just 100% effect. Shadows fall when the light cuts through it all. And you know it's gonna be a while before we see it all again. Dry vocal when it takes for starters. So much, and there's not enough. Then the next thing we're gonna hear and is the Tasman going direct right, right out of the sends and returns on my Universal Audio Apollo. Shadows fall when the light cuts through it all. This is just the wet signal. Okay, so now I boosted the level of the recording 22 dB. When it takes so much and there's not enough. So to even make it usable in my DAW, it had to be boosted 22 dB. Okay, so now we're going to listen to the vocal going through the Tasman via the EXTC. Shadows fall when the light cuts through it all. Here it is completely wet. When it takes so much. And there's not enough And you think that there might be a chance to make it all right again It's a revelation to hear your stomp boxes performing at their absolute best in full sonic glory right alongside your favorite rack mount processors and plugins. The radial EXTC line allows you to achieve the proper levels at every stage and make your effects pedals shine. If you'd like to learn more about the Radial EXTC Stereo and the entire EXTC line, make sure you stop by Radial's website. You can also read my review in the June 2021 issue of Recording Magazine. If you like this video, be sure to click the like button, and better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel for additional product videos, comparisons, how-to videos, and more. Also, be sure to stop by our website, recordingmag.com, for the best in all things recording, and be sure to subscribe to our print publication, which is now in its 35th year. We'll see you soon.